Hello. Um, in this video, I'd like to talk about uh, the effect of a cut in interest rates and also uh, mention some evaluation points that are useful for a question like this and also for other similar macroeconomic questions. So, first of all, if there is a cut in interest rates, how does it affect the economy? Well, interest rates affect the cost of borrowing. So, if borrowing is cheaper, it will encourage consumers to spend and firms to invest. Also, it affects savers. If interest rates are lower, uh, there's less incentive to save, more incentive to spend. And thirdly, many people in the UK have mortgages, variable mortgage payments. So if interest rates are cut, there will be a less to pay each month. And this can be quite a substantial part of someone's monthly uh, spending. So if interest rates are cut, they are likely to be able to spend more on other goods and services. So a cut in interest rates should help to increase consumer spending and investment. And because consumer spending and investment are components of aggregate demand, low rates should lead to an increase in AD. So in our simple AD-AS diagram, we get an increase in AD, causing an increase in real GDP and perhaps a slight increase in inflation. So that is your straightforward explanation. Now, for evaluative points, what else could we mention? Well, firstly, a cut in interest rates may not increase consumer spending. For example, supposing that uh, confidence is very low, people see house prices falling, lots of bad news in the newspapers about the stock market crashes. So if interest rates are cut, people may not want to borrow more. Also, it may depend upon the state of the economy. Now, in this example, it appears there's a lot of spare capacity. Perhaps the economy is in recession. So an increase in AD causes an increase in real GDP. But what would happen if the economy was close to full capacity? So I've added some more AD curves. If the economy had been here, an increase in AD has quite a different effect. Because the economy is close to full capacity, so rising AD will cause inflation and maybe no increase in real GDP. So this is why it's important to cut interest rates at the right time. If the economy is in recession, a cut in interest rates may be helpful. But if inflation is a problem, then a cut in interest rates may make things worse. The third evaluation point could be a time lag. If you cut interest rates, it may take up to 18 months to have an effect. This is because if interest rates are cut, firms won't suddenly invest. They will take time to respond to the interest rate cut, and it's maybe the same with consumers. Uh, there's often time lags in the economy and people estimate that interest rates can take 18 months to have an effect. So, we have our basic analysis. Lower interest rates increase economic growth, causing lower unemployment and maybe inflation. However, the effect depends on other components of the economy. It depends where the economy is. It depends what's happening to things like exports, for example. There may also be time lags, and there's no guarantee that cutting rates will actually encourage consumers to spend more.